Saturday morning check-ins. definitely do. Yeah, so morning coffee. Yeah, just sent check-ins to my coach, so I'll hear back from him soon. I'm a little disappointed in my body this week. Not in my body, but in my um, check-in body, I guess, because it looks very watery and I didn't show you my weight but it's 150 or 149 or something so I'm pretty sure it's because I ate a shit ton of pickles yesterday and a lot of water and so now I'm holding a lot of that water weight um, I'm really sad because I really wanted to wanted to like show my coach I've been working really hard this week and then I ate a bunch of pickles and now I look like a watery bag of shit so it's a little disappointing but can't do anything about it so let's just move on um, so I'm gonna have some coffee it's gonna be a little bit of pre-workout then I am going to head to the gym and I have a lot of shit to do we're gonna meal prep because I am running out of prepped food. Yeah, we definitely have to hit the grocery store. Man, my cheeks are so chubby. It's okay. Hey, so I'm driving back from Hamilton. I just sent or went and uh, dropped off my lease for my um, sibling this summer, which is in Hamilton, not in Guelph, so I'm moving. And, and so I thought I would let you know what my coach said. Um, he said that I was holding a bit of water this week in my abdomen and my lower body, which completely uh, I at the gym. Um, had the worst case or the best case, I don't even know of diarrhea and in between cardio like I got off the treadmill, went and like water just poured out my butt and then TMI <laughs> I should have warned you before but yeah, I had that and then I went home and took pictures, my abs were like way flattered, it was crazy from just before and after the gym slash diarrhea time. So I was definitely holding water. But he said, yeah, you're holding water. Um, and then we dropped carbs. So carbs were 140, now they're 120. So my macros are 120 carb, 110 protein, and 60 fat. So that's this week. And then cardio is still the same. Three hit, three lists. Whoop, whoop. 
um, yeah, that's about it. I'm really enjoying like grinding the fuck out of my cardio sessions. So I'm actually pretty excited to grind out another week. So yeah, 14 weeks out and every week like it's just gonna go by so fast. So I'm gonna keep grinding, keep doing whatever the hell my coach wants me to do and just, I'm his little slave. So whatever he wants, I'm gonna do. But that's what he said this week. Uh, just dropping carbs and that's it, so. Uh, yeah, I'll check in with you when I get home. Morning. <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever hair. So, yesterday ended up being nothing. Nothing <laughs> ended up happening how I you know, thought it would be. Didn't end up getting to go to the grocery store. I basically got home from Hamilton and just like ate my oatmeal and ran to work slash to see my friends play. Her play was at two and I had to work at three, so I was gonna be able to see her play for the like 40 minutes and then I had to work. But I got to the place on campus where her play was and I was like where do I go where do I go because I don't really know the building that well she messaged me and she's like oh yeah I am uh, wasn't feeling very well so I am still at home okay well that's good to know because I just uh, stuffed my face so that I could run and see your play before work but you know I didn't I didn't need to chill whatever and then I ended up going to work Work was okay. Um, it just ended up being longer than I expected. I had a three to BD shift, which means um, until business declines. So I work in the kitchen. But normally that means like eight or nine, you know, like Saturdays aren't really that busy and it wasn't. So I should have been able to go home at like eight or nine, but I ended up getting home like 10.30. I didn't get to go to the grocery store, so I didn't get to meal prep anything yesterday. But Today is going to be better because I don't have to work today. So <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna hit at the gym today. I would say legs, but I hit legs yesterday and I have to do hit today. I don't know. But I have to do hit and then I'm gonna go grocery shopping. I also have to get a gift for a couple of girls at my placement. So I'm not sure what kind of gift I should get them. They're so sweet to me, so I want to get them something really nice. Cheeks are looking a little flatter, but not much. I weighed in today at 148. I'm going to make it my goal to get the scale. Like last week, midweek, the scale I got to 144. So I'm going to make it my goal to get to 143, which sounds like a shit ton going from 148 but it's Sunday I have till Friday I'm gonna sweat the shit out of my body and make it happen <sighs> okay let's oops. it's April what the hell truck dealer in southwestern Ontario. The largest availability at Strickland's.com. Alright, so gym is done. Got some groceries and now we have a lot of meal prep to do so I'm gonna walk you through what I do for meal prep and it's really nothing fancy so if I can do it you can definitely do it but this high protein diet. <laughs> I can't eat rice can't even fit beans in my diet because they're too high carb and not enough protein. So now I have to actually meal prep, which is a lot different now. So I'll show you what I get to get um, meal prepped. Angel of a dime, baby. At a POP. DJ Tom. I pull up straight to the club and they all show me love. Are we all on the intake? They keep on asking for this. Starting with tofu. I already marinated some tofu. This I cut up and just shoved in here last night. Poured some soy sauce on it, so it's been sitting in soy sauce overnight. 
So we're just gonna pop it in the oven. Pretty simple. Wake up with me manana. Yeah. Say you man, you fucking with the man now. Heavy metal film, get it dance now. When I do a show, them bitches can't bow. Bitches wanna ring, I ain't no gand out. Oh no, that's a no go. Got your girls trying to kick it like a dojo. I'm rocking all way, that's the go go. I'm a rock star, baby, be my yo go. Girl, that body is a problem, wanna figure it out. She told me, tell me all the things that you've been rapping about. I like your body language, baby, we can start at the mouth. I'm Bobby Boucher when I hit it, blow the whistle on out. Is done. Yeah, the good thing about tofu is it is very hard to burn. So if you leave it in the oven for too long, it's fine. Bok choy, 500 grams each. And then I'm gonna eat this one. Red lentils. Too chewy. Those are good though. And they definitely taste better if you marinate them overnight. So if you have time, definitely do that. And it really doesn't take too long if you put the tofu in the oven and then just do something else. Like normally I'll put it in the oven and go and do homework. So, yeah. Thanks for prepping with me. Bye.